Hey, so look here. Just finished this water. 8.8 .8 alkaline Himalayan, you know, minerals, water. Um, I had to, whatever. Mm. I just finished my morning uh, dance walk. It was great. <laughs> it always is great. But you know, today it's supposed to be thunder. It's interesting. Wait a second. Uh, when I was in the Air Force, you know, it was, um, I used to get up this a long time ago, long, long, long time ago, 19, whatever. Uh, and uh, I used to uh, work out, walk, work out in the morning, you know. And what I realized that I would get up, I would do it at six o'clock. It, it was weird. Uh, this is New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. It was weird because it seemed like six o'clock. It was going to rain that. What it was going to do? It wouldn't do it at six o'clock. Very interesting, right? Anyway, I'm here in Virginia, and we're in the northern hemisphere, so therefore, you know, you know, it's it's light out. So I get out, you know, I get out at six o'clock, whatever, um, you know, and do my thing. Like that, we're in the southern hemisphere. You know, it's like uh, when I'm there in Alice, it's well, it's winter's getting to be winter. It's cold. <laughs> anyway, so I just finished my workout. It's great. Uh, and what I do is uh, I play tune. Like uh, this morning, I left out with this. Uh, it was a Prince mix. Uh, what's his name? Stephen Cole. P incredible piano thing. I, I'm going to like that, that remix. So I, I played that, though. Go down to the park. I have this little walking park. It's really nice little walking park that they got. And uh, on the way there, and then I, well, I put uh, something else I played. And then when I got to the park, I was doing uh, Chelsea Rogers. I really like Chelsea Rogers. You know, Prince, Prince to Chelsea Rogers. And you know, I get to this little basketball court, and I do my little, I do my little uh, tai chi, you know, qigong tai chi thing, with, with incorporated into the dance thing. And then I'm on, and then actually, uh, then I really get into it, and I play um, uh, Tears for Fears. You know, everybody wants to rule the world. Oh, how appropriate these days. <laughs> so then I finish that, then I'm on my way home, and then uh, what do I do? I usually. Uh, I don't know what I, I play something, you know, and then I get here and I do I dance here, you know, in you know front of the house right there, and now I'm here. And let me invite you. Let me say I had this idea, idea. I never I got to execute it, but I do audio drums. I mean I do these workshops, right? And I had this idea because anywhere from twelve to you know twenty people, I go one time in India almost did one with forty people, but they were highly disciplined. But it didn't happen. I forgot what happened. I don't know. Anyway, I had this idea. Because you do the workshop anywhere from, actually, my workshops are anywhere from, from, well, actually, I guess you would say, I've done three hours to basically four days, right? But I prefer the four days. What happens to me, the day one, day two, right? We get this tensive thing, da 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 da. Day three, they have off the da da da, not off, but they, they're on their own, because I'm not around, because I, I have abandonment issues, okay? And then, uh, 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 and then on the fourth day, that's when we, you know, they rehearse, da da and then they present. You see? But in that time period, I say, like, look, um, uh, 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 what we should do every morning, whenever you wake up, and I got this from Barbara Ann's here, you know, uh, uh, peace and blessing on her eternal soul. Like, at 6 o'clock, whatever time you wake up, the first thing you do is you brush your teeth. But when you brush your teeth, forget when you wake up, every, whenever you brush your teeth, we assume you brush it every day, you know what I mean? Because you might be at night shift, whatever. We assume you brush it every day. Then you think about, right, whatever, whatever the project is. Now, right now, everybody's thought should be about, you know, Black liberation. What am I saying? Black liberation. For destroying the no. I don't want to say destroying, because that's the, altering the system to suit our purposes rather than their purposes. Because I'm really getting sick and tired of this. People say they're oh socialism. I don't know what they're talking about, right? We know about the socialism for the whatever, the, the whatever. You know, no, when they just took all those trillions of dollars and gave it to their boys, that's socialism. You know what I mean? Without anything asked, right? But people don't know. We've had socialism for years, for years in the United States of North America. The military is a socialist organization in the military, right? But when you get out, you're no longer under that, that tyrannical rule. <laughs> like, I'm a veteran. I have medical. <laughs> they give me shoes. They get what up, glasses. But all these kind of things. That is, I'm sorry to tell you, socialism. You don't want that? Hey, what you gonna do now? that you got this pandemic. What you gonna do now, Buckwig? You see what I'm saying? So, all this nonsense, you listening to these people. Wait a second. 
why are we, why, why are you going to listen to somebody that's not of your circumstance? There was this, uh, I saw the John Oliver clip, there's this sister, uh, it's an amazing clip, I mean, I, but I don't want to make it to the John Oliver, you know, the, whatever that show he does. I want to find the, the clip itself, maybe I'll, put, I don't have to, you know what it is, it's a sister, you see she's in, you know, she's got the, the extension braids, and she's talking about, like, that she learned from Push, you know, how the whole system works, and she articulated so purposely, purpose, so precisely, that you can't argue with it. In fact, he, uh, John Oliver ended this thing by just putting that on, Say goodnight. She had the last word. You understand what I'm saying? So wherever you are, you articulate what you are, and stop listening to these these Negroes that have been that have been Negroes for like 20 or 30 years. They've been making money. They've been hobnobbing with the rich and famous. How many people hobnob with Donald Trump before? You understand what I'm saying? And then they're going to have the nerve to come and tell you what to do or not to do. It's unbelievable. I don't understand that. Look, my brother just passed, right? He's homeless. He was homeless. But to his last, to his last time I saw, he trying to give me stuff. He's homeless. I mean, I don't need stuff. You know what I mean? I said, no, 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 baby. Because that's his nature. That's his love. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Uh, I told you before, uh, when I was in the Himalayas, right, there was this cave. I can't explain it. But I, I walked into this cave. There was this one, this guy, tattered orange robes, right? He was smoking something. That's all he had. When I came in, I peeked in. He immediately offered it to me. He tried to offer to me the only thing he had to offer. Tattered clothes. My brother homeless. And it's, he try, you understand. So I can't understand these people that keep on trying to tell people what to do. And it, even if you, there's no, this is not about money. This is about love. This is about changing this system, this predatory, hateful, spiteful system into a system that serves the love and the humanity in all our souls. You see? Now, oh, here's what I mean by, by giving. Like, because I was stuck here. I mean, I have these really great, uh, you know, sneakers. They call them techies, whatever you'll call them. Right? Uh, 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 I call them uh, the hookers. They call hookers. They come from California. It's a great shoe, right? And I get it because of my, because of my feet. And I didn't know I was going to stuck here. I left them in South Africa. So I actually only had my orthopedic shoes that was issued to me from the from the VA, right? They're really stylish too, they're really good. And so I'm going like, that's the only thing I had to wear. And then because they closed down, I can't, it doesn't matter. And I didn't have no big time money to get some really good sneakers. However, my brother, Dr. James Conn, he gifted me these bad boys. You see them? They're called with sketches, right? Like that. Oh, this, let me hear something. This, this, this is this. These are, uh, these are things that were given to me from, uh, give to me, well, give it to me from uh, some cats in India. They make them when you hear that, I mean, just hear that. But see this shoe? Here's the thing. Steel tip. They're steel tip sneakers, right? But here's the thing. I'm an old man. I've also taken time. Well, I've a long time. Uh, I was into a couple with him. So if some dude want to mess with me, right? Oh, no. Somebody want to mess with me. All I have to do is, I can't show you. Run down and boop. You ever get kicked with steel toe? You know what I mean? So my defense, my defense is, is actually love, right? Now I'm, I'm, I'm in real, in reality, I, I, and so I'm trying to get my body back, back. You know what I mean? Get this up, up my chest. I gotta do something. You know? I have to take care of myself. You have to take care of yourself because you, you are love. If you listen to me, only love people can connect right now. If you are love, you know what you have to do. Okay? You know what you have to do. Join us on whatever level you have to join. And you rich people, are you that's going to throw money at it? Stop. Do what you have to do. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I can't tell anybody what to do. But we need warriors that know love, but also know to be down. Just a little observations from me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know exactly what I suspect. <laughs>